Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Handbook. Today we are actually going to be enchanting some items. Now last episode we made a huge pumpkin farm and in a couple of hours it's actually managed to get ourselves um, many many stacks of pumpkins so this right here is super awesome. Um, I definitely recommend it. Now on to what we need to be doing for enchanting. Um, first things first, we need to go to our valuables chest and we need to grab some obsidian, we also need to grab some diamonds and we also need to grab our leather. Now what we're going to do first of all is uh, not, <laughs> not throw those in there, um, we're going to make ourselves a whole bunch of paper. Now that's done by just putting uh, three pieces of shoe cane in a line just like that. Now it looks like guide real quick. And then you just put the paper like that um, in a line again uh, with a piece of leather uh, and I believe it works in any position around there and you'll make yourself a book. So as you can see we've made ourselves 21 books. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to place obsidian in a four like this. Uh, I believe it's two diamonds and then yeah two diamonds either side of that middle one and then a book on top and that will make ourselves an enchantment table so yeah that's super awesome um, so let's chuck this stuff in here before I forget um, and if we just go outside I'm gonna place it out here just for the time being um, so if we place that down as you can see uh, it loads up into an interface when you right click on it it just says enchant and there's nothing on it at this moment there's a slot here and there's a slot for uh, lapis. Now you put any tool or item that can be enchanted in that one and then in order to unlock the enchantments you have to have the right amount of levels as you can see at the bottom I have 31 um, and you have to have a, a lapis corresponding to which level it is. Um, now as you can see all of these are you know fairly low um, XP levels of CS level uh, 1, 2 and 7 um, but of course we are not looking for low level enchantments we are you know much much um, we, we're in a position where we want much higher enchantments than level 1 um, I would highly recommend straying away from any of the low level enchantments unless you're really uh, really wanting to get those um, we're going to make ourselves a whole bunch more books uh, we can only make 8 because the amount of level we have, uh, I'll just double check that we do. Oh, we do have some more. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think that's all the level. Uh, so we can actually make ourselves. This is 35 books. Um, and in order to upgrade the enchantment table, you need to have uh, bookcases. So I'm actually going to make uh, a whole bunch of planks. It's probably worth me just getting. Um, as much as possible and we're just going to fill in the lower and top uh, blocks in the crafting bench and then the middle section is filled with books now this will give us 11 bookshelves from the 35 um, which won't actually get us the full um, enchantments but it gives us quite a bit so we're gonna throw these bookshelves in here um, we're gonna keep them so we've got enough room to move around the bookshelf uh, it helps if I don't misplace <laughs> uh, one sec let's just uh, recreate that bookshelf there we go and let's place that down again um, so as you can see we've now unlocked up to level 22 things like sharpness 3 are available to us uh, or things like efficiency 3 um, so that's pretty decent but uh, we want to increase that all the way to level 30 as that's the top enchant level now as you can see in here I've got a few cows that I've managed to capture but cows are also bred just like sheep with wheat um, and therefore you know this is going to create a baby cow and eventually we can start to kill these off once we've got enough to 
get enough leather to fill in this obviously we've got absolutely tons of sugarcane from what we've been doing so far so yeah I'm gonna keep breeding these cows and get even more leather and I'll see you guys in a sec and so we've managed to get ourselves the full enchantment table <laughs> so yeah I mean it only took was it 6 10 14 16 blocks um, which is 48 books um, so 48 pieces of leather and was that a hundred and uh, oh my brain's not working now 144 pieces of sugarcane so that's pretty that's pretty decent uh, we're gonna grab ourselves our lapis from the valuables chest and we're gonna come down here um, because I've already spotted when I went into this that uh, if we put the pickaxe in our level 30 enchant is efficiency 4. Now efficiency 4 is actually the best enchant you can get uh, from... Uh, yeah, and no, I'm breaking free, that's pretty decent. Uh, efficiency 4 is the best enchant you can get um, level wise for efficiency um, from an enchantment table. Uh, you can get efficiency 5, but in order to do, do that you have to use an anvil and combine two efficiency 4 pickaxes. Um, or whatever tool that the efficiency is on so I would highly recommend you doing that if that's the kind of thing you want to do for now I'm gonna stick around with the efficiency for um, I've also got a book which can be enchanted um, but at the moment that's not giving me anything good um, if I put my sword in there I can get fire aspect 2 but that's a level 30 enchant so I'm going to uh, keep grinding away with some uh, levels and I'll come back to you guys once I've got a few more enchants. So we went and enchanted loads and loads of stuff as you can probably see in our inventory we actually have loads of different enchanted items. So from the equipment downwards we've got protection free and breaking free aqua infinity uh, helmet, we've got a chest plate that's protection free and breaking free. Unbreaking free, protection free leggings, and protection free depth strider free, unbreaking free boots. Now all of these have protection on, which means that we'll uh, be able to uh, take more damage um, without losing hearts, kind of thing. Um, and general prote uh, protection, rather than fire protection or blast protection, is the most useful, I'd say, um, just because it kind of serves uh, towards everything rather than. Um, rather than a specialised kind of case. Uh, the fact that we've got unbreaking means that the items become way more durable, um, which is super awesome, um, you know, because we, especially as we don't want these kind of items to break. Um, obviously we've got Aqua Infinity, uh, it sounds like um, exactly what it is, we essentially get to breathe longer um, underwater, and we've got Depth Strider, which I'm not entirely sure if that's movement in water, or whether that's being able to, uh, you know, survive longer in water. I think it's more to do, um, given it's a stride in there, to do with uh, travelling underwater. Uh, on the sword, we've got sharpness four, fire aspect two. On pickaxe, obviously the one we enchanted before has efficiency four on breaking free. We did enchant another one with efficiency four. Uh, we've got a diamond axe with efficiency four, silk touch. Um, obviously the silk touch. Uh, that um, allows you to pick up blocks, so say I went and got one of those grass blocks, instead of it dropping dirt, it would give me a grass block, um, which I will actually demonstrate now, if we just run out here, come over to this grass and break that, we got ourselves a grass block in our inventory, so that's awesome. Uh, the last thing we got was a shovel with fortune 3 and efficiency 4 on, um, so that just means that, you know, things like flint, um, are more likely to come out with that pickaxe, uh, sorry, with that shovel, um, because of the fortune. Now, we also uh, <laughs> enchanted tons of books, so I've got myself a Fortune 2 Impaling 4 book. The Impaling isn't useful, but the Fortune certainly is. Uh, we've got Aqua Infinity, uh, which will keep around. For, uh, Power 4, which will be used for a bow. Bane of Arthropods, that's used for swords to kill, um, is it skeletons or spiders? I can never remember. Uh, fawns, um, which isn't that useful. I'm breaking free. That could be quite useful. Um, yeah, I think I will put that I'm breaking free on the axe. Um, then we've got power four again. 
law 2 that's used for fishing rods uh, to increase the chances of getting fish uh, bane of arthropods again and power 4 again now we're going to come over to the crafting table and we're going to make an iron block now that's just done by filling in the whole crafting table and we're going to do that three times um, so we get ourselves three iron blocks then as we place that along the top place one in the middle and three on the bottom we can craft ourselves an anvil now if you place it over here um, this is actually used to combine items so we're going to combine the two pickaxes now be aware that you know changing the um, changing the amount uh, the items around can change the amount of enchantment cost um, obviously I think it goes if you put the least um, enchanted item on the right hand side it lowers the cost so we'll do that and then we'll add our fortune so we now have an efficiency 5 and breaking 3 fortune 2 pickaxe that's going to be very overpowered the only thing we need now is to get another fortune 2 to make that fortune 3 and we're going to put our diamond axe in to get our breaking 3 on it so yeah guys that will kind of wrap it up for this episode again this isn't the longest kind of episode compared um, to some of the other episodes I've done but you know it's everything's kind of starting to come together now that I'm equipped with this efficiency 5 pickaxe uh, it's going to make mining out this area a lot more easy and yeah we can really start to think about um, you know kind of more end game kind of goals so yeah I'll see you in the next one bye